every industry is slowly moving towards generative AI. And Oracle also has a lot of standard functionalities coming out, which are all Gen AI tools. But at the same time, there are still areas which have not been explored. Okay. And what I am doing as part of my playlist, which is called May the Oracle Cloud Machine Learning and Artificial Intelligence Be With You. In this playlist, I am trying to build some proof of concepts which you can all leverage in your day-to-day -day projects. You can build past solutions around them. Okay. So the first one is Retrieval Augmented Generation. Uh, this is basically to read a document and answer questions based on the document. And here in this case, it's a PDF document. In the second case, it's a CSV document. So you may have a large FBDI file. Or you may have a bunch of FBDI files, right, loaded. But at some point of time, you want to answer some questions based on the data which is loaded. And when I say answer the questions, I mean answer the questions in a something like a robot does, right? Something like a chat bot does. That's what the idea is. It's not like, you know, giving simple answers. It's like understanding the answers, reasoning the answers, and then uh, providing responses to the questions. Okay, so here I've used something known as Langchain, and in this example, I have used something known as Llama Index. Both are Gen AI frameworks. Okay, the third one is about product recommendation. So you're implementing ERP for your customers, and then obviously they'll be selling products, right? So I have built something using Scikit-Learn, which shows you how customers can uh, do product recommendations. Okay, similarly, this one is something known as customer segmentation. So every client you implement Oracle for they have customers for their own and each of those customers will be in under different types of uh, categories like some of them could be small medium business some of them could be large business uh, and things like that similarly they could be having different credit classifications some of them could be uh, you know not a risky customer some of them could be a high risk customer so customer segmentation is very important and depending on uh, the categorization you give the customer you can have a relationship with the customer by giving them good deals you know uh, good promotions and things like that so based on this our channel revenue management and other modules can kick in okay and then similarly, just like product recommendation, we have something known as sales forecasting. Here I'm using a simple linear regression algorithm and I'm showing you how to do a sales forecasting. Okay. So this is a classification algorithm where uh, I've implemented how Oracle asset retirement can be considered. So based on different uh, attributes or features of a given asset and based on the past data, you know, whether a particular asset is ready to be retired or not, this will contribute to your fixed assets module. So just like we have a sales forecasting over here, this is something very similar, but using a different uh, advanced uh, concept called neural network, which is basically deep learning. And I've created a demand forecasting uh, process over here. So you can definitely check it out. What you see here, these are just like five to 10 minute videos, but these are what you see as an outcome. You know, developing this functionality did take time. I have not gone into the details of the technical coding anywhere, but I'm showing you what kind of solutions we can create for our customers. Okay, so similar, this one is called sentiment analysis. Basically, you know, just like uh, you buy something from Amazon and if you don't like it, you go and put a comment over there. That comment which you put or the review comments which you put for a given product, that drives a lot of things. You may not know it, but that drives a lot of things. And uh, it's people use that, the companies use that for performing things like sentiment analysis. And, you know, based on that sentiment analysis, they do some recommendation because now it is all about targeted customers, right? It's not like you're giving the same promotions to everybody. And then we have dispute resolution. So customer invoices, uh, sometimes get disputed by the customers. So how to handle the disputes I've shown you in this particular video, definitely check it out. And then this is something about Oracle Cloud supplier payments anomaly detection. So sometimes let's say uh, this is kind of a risk management thing. So let's say uh, you are noticing that suddenly there is some kind of payments uh, going, could be small amount, large amount, whatever, but uh, the payments to suppliers become suspicious. So there may be some folks who might try to, you know, create dummy suppliers and make payments to them, but in turn give, connect with their own banks, right? So that kind of fraud can happen in the companies. So here i've tried to show you how to uh, tap that kind of situations and then this is about customer churn which i recently uploaded customer churn is based on the purchases or based on the disputes uh, which has happened so far with the customer are they uh, in the line of being uh, quitting the business with your company or are they going to churn out of your company so those kind of uh, things can be viewed using this so if you see here the playlist duration is pretty less six minutes seven minutes eight minutes eleven minutes this one so it could be a quick one for you. Just go through this and see if, if it really helps your business. Okay. And I'm building more such use cases. If you have something in mind and if you would like to see a demo or, around that, please do definitely let me know and I'll create uh, interesting videos around that. So this, uh, this video was just to talk about the machine learning, deep learning, generative AI combination with Oracle Fusion. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. May the Oracle be with you.